Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov with a few modifications. Now we have people hauling lumber and not carters. Yeah, I've been, been down for what, almost a week since uh, the game crashed several times. And best I can, well, that I can tell or that I've heard, it has either something to do with the cart shed and maybe the new delivery uh, system that was used to be popped right over here. Or could be that I had tried to send this wood to this shed without realizing that there's actually no wood in this shed, in case that was a problem. Or I'm hearing from folks that they're still having tr some kind of trouble with the fishing docks. That there was a bug that came in with the last update that affected the fishing docks. It never affected ours. But unless it did affect ours and... I was always staring at these nails each time that it did affect ours, and that was it, you know, all along, I don't know. So I've shut down all of the cart sheds, and, or unhired everybody, and I have shut down all the fisheries. So with that, we the first crash happened right about there, about a week into April. The second two crashes happened almost exactly as it switched over to April, which was another, a third possibility that something to do with seasonal hiring. Because April is when we have just fired everybody for harvest and everybody's coming back online to go to their jobs. So, three possible reasons why the game crashed. I sent the game in... What am I seeing there? Oh, that's all the boats. Okay, the blue lines. I sent the, the uh, save file and the log text in to uh, the developer. And he got back to me almost immediately and, and wanted more information. And then I haven't heard back since. So either something else happened over there that's got him distracted or this is one pernicious bug and he's been all this time trying to track it. Either way, we are going to be running a lot slower now. I've noticed there's a lot of people carrying crates. So well, let's see if I can find an example. It probably won't be a single one now, but for a while there, it seemed like every third person was carrying a, a wooden box around in their hands. Yeah, I can't find any now. So, jobs that the carters would have been doing <clears throat> that the ladies who, as laborers, cannot act as, you know, cannot use a cart, are then carrying these crates around instead for like 50 salt or 100 salt moving from here to there. So, still no hint that this is about to be uh, um, hauled away. When that's done, I'm going to redo all the fencing here. Um, this is right about the time where all the crashing happened. So all the sewing has finished. The sheep are out. Let's kind of walk through the town to see what's going on. There's another 247 wool over here. There's a thousand sitting over there. Uh, 3,000 is our limit, so we're fine. You've got almost a hundred, and you've got almost a hundred, and two people in each one. Okay. I rehired these guys to see if they would go back to work working and they're still not doing anything I did move all the park benches up I had set some oh two episodes ago through here just to get some done and now you know I've thrown a bunch of X's in there instead um, so who is actually doing building sites now you guys are you're taking down a park bench okay so you guys are doing the park benches over here which is appropriate anyway so when they get through with these guys they'll probably continue on to the field and then we've got a well which is over here so at that point I'd be curious to see if these guys start working again though there's no point in hiring them for all this time if they're not going to do anything but just sit around and work by not doing anything there's no green up arrows here so all right we'll go back to um one worker i guess just to keep up with firewood you've got 580 logs so there's no point in the rest of them doing anything i rehired him because i've got five guys not working here I've got five guys not no longer working here. I've got three no longer working here and three no longer working there. So we've got a surplus of uh, of employees right now, of, of people looking for work. Actually, I don't know what it's showing. Uh, looking for jobs, it claims it's zero. I'll go over here looking for jobs and 17. 
So yeah, it's a little frustrating, the, the, the extreme difference between those two stats sometimes. But there's either zero or 17 people, 17 guys looking for jobs. So there's lots of labor type jobs to do. Someday somebody's going to get this one. I've got, you know, emptying, but without, last time we did it with the cart and then it crashed. Either because of that or by coincidence. That's what I could not establish. I did it four times, but all four times I had the carter going. But also all four times I had the fisheries going and each time it rolled through april so at that point i was just going to you know sit back for a few days and see what you could could come up with but that's it's been long enough now i'm waiting for you to go away so that and it'll be a a red down arrow when someone's assigned to do it so that i can start working on that fence over there so until then this did and this was another thing we had that warehouse right here and it's lumber and nails were sitting there and I had set those up to be hauled away by Carter as well. So between all those different possibilities of which one actually caused the crash, it was too hard to narrow it down, too hard to be certain. And I didn't want to take the time to do each one individually and cancel all the rest of them, see if I can determine which one actually caused it. So with that, let's just see if it crashes again, or if not, we'll just go without fishermen or carters until Hotfix 3 comes out for this update. But this warehouse is gone. We put the lime over here. We've got 9,700 in there. The idea of putting a nice cart shed over here for all of these guys to use. We still have this over here, and actually we have a couple of carts left there. But this one tended to be used up almost entirely. You're grabbing one? No, you're bringing one back. So I wanted to put one more out here. Because we are going to be more and more industry heavy. In fact, we've got the, the smeltery going in soon too. And I'm going to have to figure out just how to make that work. As far as getting the iron from here to here. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see figure that out as we get there you're using a cart to move firewood around so I wanted to get into the cart shed over here and closest one is right there and let's swing you in like so so that we can form a road that goes up through here so you're in this area somewhere let's see control bring you around pretty much like that that yeah, looks pretty good so the width of the road Probably similar to that up there, minus this piece. So that puts us out somewhere around like there. I think so. Okay, you're there. And let's move you up. I told them to go ahead and get working on these uh, small granaries just to give them something to do. Because everything needed to be chopped. A lot, of, a lot of trees. So we got that guy next. We'll do the cart shed we just put in. And then I thought we'd go ahead and get the smeltery going just so we can see the building. And then... As we're getting more of these row houses done, it's probably time to go ahead and get something going over here. So, what does that look like, anyway? You are the... probably over here, right? Let me think about that. I don't actually know where you are. So, the smeltery was on the other page. That's right, you're over here. So, there's the iron mine. Okay, so you do this. And it's a matter of how many of them we want could go over here and have all kinds of them but you know if we were going to really max this map out that's not my intent I'm not going to take mining to its most extreme I mostly just want to see it happen so we've set up three smelteries mostly so that we can have lots of buildings over there on the island to make it look good and look right so over here two Let's leave some rocks off to the side, put you there, and you over here with some rocks off to the side. Alright, so two mines over there. We'll get one of you guys set up. Where? That's a field. Where's the next row house? You're right there. So, you're the mine. So mine and then row house. Yeah, we'll do that way. And then the other mine will eventually work into there too. We'll get one smelter, one mine going. See the process. 
and go from there. So you are going. So everything over here is done. We're into April. Construction completed. Small granary. Um, I was curious as whether or not this granary reached anything. Eh, we'll just leave you alone. Leave you mothballed. We're a long way away from needing you anyway. Did the nails leave? They left. And we didn't crash. Okay. So I think we have accomplished everything that we had accomplished at the end of last episode now. I put back in some fencing over here. I put the bushes and trees around this guy again. And luckily these fields were already worked on and, and being sowed. At that, I went back three... Uh, um, auto saves. Figuring that was far enough back to uh, erase anything that may have lingered from that crash. Okay, so with all of that, let's get rid of... I wanted to bring this out to about here. To probably even with this fence right there. And then that will kind of narrow this area down a little bit and force a, a more significant corner here. Rather than this, this big wide open space. So we'll see how that goes. Kind of make this the main road and then turn from there. So I think you guys need to go away. And what I want to do here is put this arch in. This is what we were trying to do last time. And I guess I need that fence in first. Yeah, because I got to know where we're going. Okay. So you go how far? You go all the way to there. The alignment is good. I don't like the alignment here. This needs to come out a little further. It needs to be more parallel to this. But this lined up pretty well with that path there. Uh, bench is done. Okay. I gotta go find these benches. Before they... Well, I guess... Oh, you're both pretty obvious. Okay. So, make you go away and you go away. Yeah, I think the idea of using cow sheds through here was pretty good but if these guys are willing to then I will go ahead and use them but they are actually taking out a lot of logs because they're doing the work hmm hmm okay which means because they're, they're doing the park benches and they're doing this field right here so but it may be a while before we really need this road in here yeah, this is going to be mostly employed by these guys. So we don't really need the pathway through here yet. Okay, that's that path there. So if that happens 10 episodes from now, that's fine too. No big deal. Okay, so I need you to go away. I need you to... Hmm... There. I had a problem with Link, though. Yeah, so that's not going to work. Okay, so let's pause. I want to be able to think about this. I'm fighting the trees. The It looks like the worn path was actually under the fence. The grass stops even before it touches the fence. Okay, so that means you go to about there... And then you continue on. Okay. I need you out as far as this fence. Oh, these trees. So something like that. But I need you to line up with this. And I've got to sight that in. That gets tough. So you are something like that. Something like there? What does that look like? I guess I can do this. Except I can't see through a tree. That looks pretty good. Pretty well aligned with the other fence. Okay. And did I get it mostly straight? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. So that is there now. And then... How best to do this? Let's... You can actually go to that. Hmm. Once I build the arch, it's permanent, I think. I think they have to build it. 
unlike the fences which go in quickly. So I want to make sure it's right. You destroy. Let's grab another one of you um, right there and wait for that to go away. You need to be kind of in there. Where is that corner there? So alignment wise, I guess that's right. I don't know if I like this angle though. I guess they don't have much of a choice. The exception would be to take these benches out and angle this guy out a little further. So I guess I'm just going to have to live with that. Okay, so you go back to where you were. Alright, so you are there. And I need a fence that goes through there so that I can align it with. So you go to there. So I need to stop you where? Memorize that spot right about there. You snap back into there. I need to stop you right there and there. So you go away. And that should be, though I can't see a single from a single direction, still off. I think this the hill the, the ground slopes a little bit and it causes this thing to waver. Because I thought I hit some the spots pretty good. One last try and we'll, we'll have to call that good enough. Okay, you there. Okay, we'll say that's good enough. So you now are this guy and you align like so. Now how do we find center? I guess center on this guy is probably as good as we need to get. So that looks pretty good right in there with that window up above. Okay, so almost touching right there. Alignment wise, let's zoom up and look straight down on it. And that looks off down there too. Okay, so you're going to touch there. You're going to rotate like so. And I say that's just going to have to be good enough. Okay. So once that builds, we'll make that next. You are the cart shed. You're not as important. I want to see this done. So you're going to go there and get that going. Then we'll redo these two fences and actually attach it to it. So beyond that, what I had thought of doing, I think I showed this last time, was I originally thought I'd put this maybe right here and close that off completely right in between, but it just didn't feel right sitting there like that. So I want to instead close this off completely. Now, unfortunately, our alignments are not the same, but that's going to have to be close enough. So let's go about like there. I think that would be good enough. We'll line it up with the church. So you're somewhere in there. Do we kick it off a little bit and split the difference? I can probably go just a little bit more and not have it too noticeable. All right, so you're going to go there. Okay. And this guy might be good right there, too. Think about that. What if this one, uh, make me a copy of it, attached right at this corner. So rotate you like so. Okay, and will it let me? Right there, and then in a little bit. Right there. Okay, so you go away. Okay. Oh, I got it, I got it, I can do even better. Let's pause, grab you, make you go away. Let's put you into the corner, right into the post. Place is occupied. Oh, okay, right there. Let's try that. Make you go away. Okay. You. Uh, yeah, I got you. To there. To there. 
Well, that looks pretty good. Now it looks like it wasn't an afterthought. It looks like it was designed into it. Okay. Yeah, that's different. Okay, so you're there. And then this guy goes away. And... A wooden fence. This style? Now, let's do the picket fence. Right there, fence number four. From there... To there. See how it looks crooked all the way through? It has to do with the slope of the ground right there. From here it's vertical, but here it, it does change quite a bit. So a wooden fence out over here to be more like this guy. Although, now that I think about it, this really isn't in the right place. Yeah, I want this to come down a little further. So if you go away, we'll maybe stick with that corner, but we'll take you out to about like so. We'll just put you there just to give us an idea. You pause, demolish, grab a copy. Okay. You now aim more like that. Now, where do you actually go? To be in line with both of those fences. There. A little further out. Let's go there. And you go away. Copy of you. From there to there. That's better. Okay. You go away. Copy of you from there to there. Okay, that's starting to put go together. You can go away then. And oops, one at a time so that we don't lose our alignments. You're gonna come out, you're gonna have to go away and then re be rebuilt. So if I take you out. Uh, yeah, demolish you, and put you back from there to there. Actually, now does that line up pretty straight? It's straight enough. I was going to say I can make that all one fence. So you go away, and another one of you in here. Now, try that again. There. All right, so what are we thinking of this so far? Uh, we're building this one. Everyone's there, but they have to bring all the stuff by themselves now. Back to the way we used to do things. You go away. And another one of you. There. To there. So how do we do with the benches? They still look good. We're, we managed to maintain the same footprint. So this would give us that nice arch and give us the stone fence around the cemetery. But it would give us the, I don't know, a little more traditional architecture out here. The fence and the, the arch look like it was meant to be with the church. That's That feels a lot better to me than what was there before. The, the white, and it was just too much. It just didn't work for me. So that... I can go with. Let me know what you think. But it lines up our pathways better. I like this transition better. This one still bugs me a bit. I'd love to build that into it, but it's not that easy. I would have to kick this fence in a little bit further to make that work. But I think this also forms a better corner here. Eh, we'll see. We could almost do a little... Yeah, we could. Let's wait, though, until this arch builds so I can build from there. I can go to that post and then shoot across and then go over there and kind of simulate this corner over here a little bit. That might be kind of... Yeah, it might look good. might look intentional at this, this interesting crossroad here. Okay. So with that, that's done. The game didn't crash, and I think we are up and running again. Minus fish and... 
a more convenient uh, carting system. But I would imagine just a few more days and we're going to get an, a, a hot fix pop in here. So you're kind of out in the pathway, aren't you? Not that, I'd be curious to see if anybody ever actually uses these. Bench complete over here. There you are. Make you go away. And I've been running on slow speed through all this, so that's why all they've gotten done is three benches today. But most important thing was to see how far we could go without a uh, without the game stopping on me. Dracachi! I don't remember who it was last time. It was was it Marefa? That just kept coming and coming and coming. Roadmap, Dracachi, you guys want charcoal. What do we got going on? We have 10,000, 22,000 in town. So deal. You can have that one. Uh, shoes. How are we doing? There's 600 in town. Okay. Why so few? Is it because we're running slow? Like I can speed it up now. Shoes. Plenty of leather. 500. So we just don't have it moved out. Okay. You are supposed to... No, you're not. Slow down. Okay, you're not hauling shoes. You're doing that. Oh, shoes is down here. You guys are hauling shoes, and there's only one lady doing it. And she's spending all of her time on salt. Let's move salt down a notch. See if that helps. Put 2,000 salt down here, and let's, bring, let's put another person in. Yeah, let's put two people in keep hauling all this stuff you can use uh where is that here worker by cart yep yeah. so she should be able to bring quite a few shoes all at once um you're this one you are going to work you have not hired what are you your charcoal which doesn't make a lot of sense to have charcoal here when we're putting ten thousand into here so that really doesn't make sense. That goes away. And horse tack could even be in here. It's just kind of the same category of stuff. Okay. So we put 500 horse tack in here. Let's put you, take you away. Add horse tack to this one. Uh, where are you? Salt can go in here, right? Can salt go in here? That is a food thing. Yeah. Salt can go there. Okay, so even salt doesn't need to be here. Let's turn you off to you. Horse tack. Uh, horse, 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 right there. And 500, even though we'll never have that much. Bench. And delete. That should be the last of the benches. Now we're working on finishing the field. And then we should be working on everything over on that side now. Okay, so with that, that's why the... The shoes have not been hauled away. Are they going to be hauled away now? No. They're number one on the list. Right here. And you are supplying resources. Don't know which ones. And you are going to work. Maybe you'll grab shoes. It could be that she was already had been queued up to do something else. Like warm clothes. Next on the list. No. She was always before it. Hmm. Okay, don't know what's up with the order. Or if the order is more random than I give it credit. Okay. But there is a second person coming in. Speed her up. Let's see where she goes. Dracachi's still got a few more days. I want to see what she does. Does she go for shoes? Otherwise, I'm going to have to find another way to get those shoes moved. She went for shoes. Okay. So shoes are starting to happen again. At 600, I'm going to leave our own... Uh, um, uh, leave that in stock for us so not doing shoes but I needed to investigate what was going on there charcoal they're not willing to take any more chicken eggs sunflower oil what's happening there sunflower oil we have 1100 in town I'm gonna keep that I wonder where it's at so that was another issue sunflower oil leaving um, here thousand thousand so sunflower oil needs to be I brought that up to the top between episodes. And we have four people here gathering supplies. You're grabbing chicken eggs right now. And taking a rest and going to work and buying food. So three people not working. I was hoping that they would hit the first thing. But I don't know that that's going to happen. So maybe that is your job. Y your job. Where was I? 
Oh, I emptied this one out. This one, okay. So you don't have a job anymore. So for now, you can go away. Um, you have a full storage. You don't have room for anything else. Okay. So over here, you have potentially a full storage. At the very least, you have no more categories. Okay. So one solution that was offered was to get another small storage or sunflower oil. That'd be a small granary over here. We have two small granaries over here who don't have anything to do. I just have to give up on one of these items, all of which could possibly come out of the uh, out of the gardens. I'm thinking it's the cherries and the apricots that can go away. Yeah, we don't need to buy these because we can't resell them fast enough. So these two go away. Um, apricots right there. And sunflower oil can go in its spot. And this person can be in charge all through the year of hauling sunflower oil out of the oil works. So... 2000 and of course you're not at work so I can't test to see if that worked <laughs> and I can't use a carter now to quickly get that gone so you are basically not doing anything at the moment are the laborers for this building bring things too they don't take things away the building that is going to takes things away so you are able to be worked by laborer by hand and carter and cart Brick arch is done. Okay. So we could get a laborer to do that job. Okay. So you demolish. You demolish. We'll put you back in. There to there. Place is occupied. What? Okay. Let's start there then. Come on. There. Place is occupied. I wish I can zoom in closer. I keep rolling this mouse. You just don't want to. Oh, I see. You don't. You don't attach over here. Okay, that's it. I can go to there. Okay. So if I could just get past the tree, so I could see where is center. Looks like it's about there. We're going to go with that. Okay. And then... Here. There until we go red. Right there. Okay. So with that, there's the new arch. Fencing around it. Everything looks wonky and crooked. <laughs> it does. Oh well. And we're in. Now, do we clip this corner? If we do, I would clip the corner first. Then I'd take the fences away. So let's try that idea. I would go... And I don't know that I'm going to be able to really duplicate the angle. If I go across to about here... And I guess shoot for a, a 90 degree angle. If I could just get into a good view so if this is straight with my screen this arch then straight vertical with my screen should be right about there now depth wise where am I aligned with that of the fence is that it that's pretty close can I look on it this way it's pretty close looks like it goes up a little bit but I'd say it's enough to to make this work so let's throw you away and that's right Durkachi so pause I need to get back to that um, you you and there to center of until it turns red um, I think that's too small how many there's two sections in there, and they're quite stretched out. So let's not go all the way till it does that. Let's go right there. Now, in and out. What does that look like? I 
Oh, it's hard to right click. Every time I right click, the screen moves. So it doesn't let go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, angles are all off, but it'll be good enough for now. Okay, you demolish. And grab you. So this is the episode of the finicky fence builder. There to there. Alright, what do we think of that? I think I will adjust that just a little bit more after the episode. Kind of straighten that up a little bit and but I think that's yeah, I think it's interesting. The 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 ninety degree corner just felt a little harsh compared to this side over here. So I think that'll work. Um Exclamation point over here. No carts. Oh, we're built. Good. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do all four. We've got a cart. Our metal parts, I'm pretty sure it was about 300 last I checked. Metal parts, 326. We're definitely getting ahead of metal parts. Um, you were repairing a bunch of boats. You're all repaired. You're all repaired enough. So you can be fired. And we're done with you too. Okay, so the fishing industry is officially done for now. You guys are hauling logs from here. And I'm assuming it's you guys, right? Yeah, getting a log. Okay. So you guys are still working, but you're going to stop working, I assume, when this field is done. I'm hoping that the next crew will take over, probably these guys, the next job, which is this well. And then we drop into these houses over here. So that crew needs to be up and running for that. So how many are left over here? Still have nine left. So probably about the end of this episode, which is when? I'm 30-some minutes into this one. Okay. Alrighty. So this episode kind of feels like it's just a repair episode from last time. <laughs> but I think that's going to be okay. Um, fence looks good. Everything's in bloom. We're in May. And probably should finish this up again. Um, I didn't want these trees here, but I could do another one of those trees there. So let's pop you, although I, let's wait till the bushes are in. I'm finding the best order is bushes first, trees later. The bushes auto build, whereas the tree stays as a yellow circle until someone actually walks over to plant it. And so until then, you can't put anything in that's near it, up against it. So bushes need to go in first. We did a lot of lilacs in here. So, something like, hold the shift, there, there, and there. We got dogwoods in, kind of, every, you know, randomly. So another couple right over here would be a, or not dogwood, I keep calling them dogwood, dog rose. So put you, yeah, something like that. Let's see, where is the tree going to go? I guess they could go anywhere. Let's put you there and you there, and we'll just kind of stick a tree right in between all of that. Uh, Ash, and Ash, how big are you? You're a good sized tree. There we go. Well, yeah, I can't get rid of the yellow things to see it. Let's go with that. Ash, so you're going to be somewhere in the middle of that. See. If it, we did the opposite, I wouldn't be able to place any of these bushes until the tree had been planted. Okay, see, that one is there, and maybe it's one more right over here. Kind of like that. Give me another ash. Somewhere right in there. Okay. So right there, right here. Yep, I like that. Okay. And we need to probably bush all around this area too, but we'll deal with that one a little later. We'll let some of these other things grow up a little bit. Don't like to lay them all out because then you just got to chop them all down when you realize that was a mistake. Like this fence line, I'm wondering if this is really what I want. Looks like it does need to go over here and over like that. I'm not getting any traffic this way. Yeah, we'll see. So, we'll eventually get to a point where a lot of what I'm doing is just decorating. 
You know, once everything kind of gets built and laid out, then it's just making it look good. Um, so what are we actually doing right now? You're being built. Smeltery is going to go in to see it. Then we're going to get you built. And then we put some more housing in to handle all that. And by then, hopefully, these guys have been logged. 13 trees and where are you 19 trees and 10 trees for these houses and then we'll do another group of houses in here and then one last group in here though it looks like these will probably build out faster maybe between episodes i'll lay the rest of these houses in and then we'll just pick the one out of all of these as the least trees and order them that way that could work so we're in may oh we're dikachi you still here okay Let's get this finished. No more distractions. Ah, chicken egg, sunflower oil. That's where we stopped. Trying to figure out how to deal with the sunflower oil. So sometimes when I'm going through these, it's really just a chance to go through and figure out what is working and what isn't of our normal supplies that we create. Um, iron ore, I think I just bought some. Yeah, bought some right in between episodes. There was a uh, Balaclia trader in here um, while I was testing everything to see if I could even make the game work. Flour, you want to sell. So sell us some sallow. Let's go 600 of that. Where am I at right now? I'm at 9,000 in the treasury. Treasury is doing fine. No worries there. Dried fish, we're going to be buying here soon. Potatoes, we don't have any right now. Let's buy some in just to uh, just to put into our markets deal. Um, we probably planted it, so we get it every other year right now. And we're going to get some over on the other side. So here in August. But between now and August, we should be able to eat 600 potatoes. Pigs, cows, horses, flour, sallow, dried fish. Nothing else we need to buy. Um, to sell, I don't think there's anything else. Apples are not a thing yet. We are May, so June, July, they are. So we're good there. We can't buy any booze from you. Nope. Okay. Running running now I can go back to two speed now the traders done okay so we're gonna see these guys built and I guess I'm committed now <laughs> it would be just like me to go through and start building these guys and realize okay now that I can see them yeah this is obviously a mistake but nope I don't have to go there I couldn't put the school over here like I was thinking of because it won't build up the slope it'd have to go across so that's not going to happen. So the school is going to be out here somewhere. Did this school ever find a kid? No. Are, seriously, there are no kids in here? You are 10 to 15 years old, right? 10 to 15s. And there are really no 10 to 15s. 41 and 34. There are some kids that failed to leave the roost. Yeah. 10 months. 11. So where are you going to school? Getting a primary education. You're all going over here. So, oh, that's not it right there. So what is with that? Why is that the case? Anybody know why a person who, goes to, who lives over here, this was in, had to have been in, when this 11-year-old turned 11, turned 10. I mean, that's been there for a little while now. Feels like it, at least. Hmm. Over here. Ten. Buying food. So... We'll see. I'm not sure what's up there, but we'll see. Okay, so... Car shed is in, and... Car one cart has been, been produced. Okay. Um... How are we doing in regard to what you guys are up to? Waiting for a partner, so you are chopping trees somewhere. Oh, you are still chopping your own red axes. You have a few left over here, so you guys are chopping these trees. Because I'll never get these guys to chop any red axes with 575 logs. Which was 570 before? At least I thought it was. Maybe it wasn't. Okay. 590? Maybe. Um, so you guys are working on red X's. Soon, you guys will be too. 
when this guy gets down, yeah, we're at three. Let's go ahead and hire this, this one up so I can see what happens when that transitions. So let's take you to full employment, five and three, and let's just see if they take over the responsibility of working the building sites when the building sites are no longer over here. So you are three, that makes two? Yep. So that was two and a half. So now we've got two trees left and these guys are done. Okay, and we are into June. Okay, so according to this, we have nobody looking for work. According to this, we have 11 guys looking for work. So I'm assuming there's 11 guys that are taking a break somewhere. And then they're going to grab the newspaper and go through the help wanted section. Is like, oh, that's a good job over there. Of course, those 11 may not live in this area. There's always that possibility, too. Yeah. How do we do here? We are employed and employed, and we've got 800 in there. So two of these guys seem to be what it takes to handle one sheep farm. So how are we here? Zero of 200. Feel completed. So you guys need to... Waiting for a partner to get a log. Okay. And you don't... You're more than 18 logs, so you're definitely working on a building site. So it worked. We just don't have enough to make it actually function yet. Oh, you did get to work in time. Just in time. Okay. So you guys are going to go over and probably work on... Where is it? That's the well. Oh, okay. They should be right over here. Yep, there it is. And off they go. Okay, so that's working again. These guys are going to chop firewood. Marifa. Um, until they get down below 18 logs. So they're not going to be doing a whole lot between now and then. So just to prove it. You're working and just sitting there. Okay. Same with you. All right. So you guys now get to be mothballed. So I'll take you down to one and down to one. And you're just going to be topping off supplies until you've eaten your way down to 18 logs. Then you guys can start taking out red X's. Okay. Small granaries completed. They're now going to be working on the smeltery. Might be able to see that before the episode's over. And Marifa buys our salt, right? I want to say that's the case. Uh, over here, Marifa. Yeah. There you are. Okay. We have 2,000 here and 10,000 over there. You'll buy 1,500 of it, though. So they're the only ones that I know of that buy salt, and they don't buy at the quantity that we're producing it. So it's probably time to slow these guys back down again. Okay. Deal. Sell the salt. Uh, sunflower oil is suddenly really good okay let's actually let's go see that happen so slowing down to one and let's see you guys are emptied and you should be almost full then 1700 of 2000 and you actually have something to do now <laughs> okay should i have two people doing that we're never going to fill our capacity in these small granaries so I could move pumpkins over. Yeah. Let's X you and make you pumpkins. Right there. Buy them. And make you 1,200 just to be happy. You can also be sunflower oil. And you can also be 2,000. And you can also fight over who gets to empty that. Okay, that works out well. So we have easily a thousand to sell right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Move a thousand sunflower oil into here. And temporary you. And let's sell Marifa sunflower oil. One thousand. Deal. All right, flour. Where are we at now? Six hundred went down to four hundred sixty. What is with the flour? So flour is being stored here. Uh, down there, there's 60 of it. That means you guys are probably about full. 150. Is flour also being stored here? 
Not anymore. It's all going down to here because here was closer to all of the different markets. So that it is the central granary idea. Okay. So getting you moved. I, I don't know how better to do it. Laborer by cart, worker by cart, and all these things. And full employment. So what happens, happens there until we get our carters back. Okay, so we're done with Marifa then. Is there anything they have that we need to buy? I don't think there is. Always just broadcloth and warm clothes with them. Don't need to buy honey. Wheat, we are sitting at 4,000 for the town. Hemp, we're sitting at zero. So how are we doing on flax? We added more workers. And they're still working, but they're working on flax right now. And here in a couple of months, we're going to have um, more flax there, more hemp there, and wheat. And you are sunflower, you are potato, you are buckwheat. And you are hemp, you are potato, and you're buckwheat. Okay, you need to be figured out. I'll do that between episodes. We're, we have until next March, and then add it in to, to hello. No, 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 no. You belong here. Okay, knock that off. But I'll figure out what goes in there and maybe work on a rotation schedule for that one. So that is that. Speed you back up again. We're done with Marifa. We are into June. July is when these guys work. Yeah, July and August. Okay, so that happens then. Um... What else is going on? We are bringing supplies over to here. And a lot of these supplies, except for the... Yeah, even the stone, is all right here now. We're sitting right there. And we're sitting right there. There. There's our stone. So this should be a quick fill-up. We need 4,800 more wood. That's probably what you're doing. Loading up that cart. Bringing it over to here. No, that's firewood, and you're filling this one up. Okay. So, firewood-wise, three are hired there. One's hired there. Um, you've got not enough. You are taking a rest. Okay. As far as emptying these, I think we need a second person over here. I think she could be emptying these as fast as, as possible to keep this whole this loop running. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So you're there. How did this ever work? Two people in here. And we've got clothes we're looking for. Yeah, that's everything. So um, how are we up here? Shoes was a problem, wasn't it? So over here, there's still 500 shoes. So the only way we can really get that working again, well, for one, we don't need as many people now since we can't cart them out of there. But we could be selling shoes. And you did or did not. Marifa is already gone. Okay. So, if I guess... Yeah, I guess I gotta keep the shoes at less than 500 in town. And boom! It must be July. All these exclamation points just hit. Alright, so let's just sit here for a minute and see how quickly those things fill up. I'm assuming that after a laborer finishes a job, they then go home and take a rest. And then they start looking for work. So, best case scenario is two or three days before the next wave is ready. And there's three of them, four of them, five of them. Okay. We hired on properly this time. So, with so many jobs gone, I think we've got a good balance of laborers in town at the moment. I think everything's kind of working. Almost. We could be hauling things like flour out of here. We could be... Hmm... I wonder if I need to do this. That might be advantageous. And get more of these products brought over with more expensive laborers. Okay. Let's play with that idea for a bit. If that's the case, is there anywhere else that, that would be advantageous? Don't think so. We got two people doing these and they're doing fine with the, uh, the oil. So that's not a thing now. This one, though, the shoes. Hmm. Let's play with this one. 
as well. Let's see if we can't get the shoes brought over here faster. How are we doing with clothes? Zero and zero. Okay, so we're fine there. We have plenty of materials and even more materials over here. You're doing a good job. And over here, we got lots of salt and firewood or bark. Is that bark? Yeah. And lime over here. So you're doing a good job. Okay. So a little help with you and a little help with you. And maybe that's finally going to get the flower moved out of these guys in time to keep them running. So if that's the case, if it is, it's not yet. Okay, I still can't get the shoes out of there. I was going to say I could put, I could add the second person back in, but I still can't get the shoes out of here. Okay. Give you a little more time to see if someone, is there a point in going any higher? If I shoot you and just keep going up, you'd think eventually that would fill. And nothing. So, well, there you okay. 300%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take you back to 120. So, what are you guys going to haul? Still not going to haul shoes. <laughs> yeah, I just spent a lot of money to get 10, yeah, 20 and 20 hauled out. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so what else is going on up in here? Just kind of looking, looking at it, see if I still like it as much as I thought I did. I think so. I think splitting that up was the right thing to do. Um, what else needs to be done this episode? Where are we at? We're in the 50s now. Be nice to shut these down before they hit one hour. An idea came in to play with this arch down over here as well. That this be maybe the beginning and the end or incorporated with this wall at least. I wish the wall snapped into this. That would make it easier. But an archway over here along with this kind of fence, maybe even out over here in the center somewhere when the fourth row house goes in. Can't do with anything with anything to do with this, but we could have a fence across here. And they'll either go through or they'll run the pathway through here and then leave? Or does or does it need to be a road in front of this? I'm not sure. We get more of these build will play with this. Maybe fence this area off. Archway, archway, archway. And wh whether or not there's one over here at this end, I don't know. Because I don't know what's going to be beyond. Hmm. But that arch does seem to work pretty well with those brick and iron fences. Oh, we're building. Okay. So, huge boulders across here to force the flow of the river through the paddle wheel. That's the idea here. And a lot of stone. So smeltery. We're melting iron ore. So a huge furnace system going in. Big stack, I would imagine. And big flame. A lot of coal. Interesting. And the ground level poking right through it. <laughs> Hopefully the building hides all of that. Do we need more charcoal? I kind of don't think so. I mean, every time we go to sell it, there's 20,000 left in town. So I think we're good. Five charcoal pits for a town this size seems to be working really well. We don't have a lot of factory-like buildings that are burning charcoal right now. We have one brickworks, one saltworks, a couple of blacksmiths, and not a whole lot more than that. So I think we're fine. Okay, so you guys are only at this point so far. How many are working? Going to work. Going to work. So one is actually working right now. The rest are... So, it seemed like there were a lot more people. I mean, I was seeing these folks. My peripheral vision. There's a bunch of people coming to work right now. There we go. Grabbing logs and dropping them in. Let's leave this up so we can... We're at that point there, okay. I have not seen this melt tree before. 
So, curious to see what this looks like. And this will probably end the episode. I think we'll be at about that hour mark when this is done. Go ahead and kick the speed up a little bit more. See this happen. We're into August now, so because the the cart sheds were unemployed, I went ahead and left the uh, uh, the town hall and the builders full employment during harvest season. So it seemed like a, a decent trade-off. Balaclia. Okay. There's the shaft. Oh boy. Yep. Here's the paddle wheel going in, adding the the fins. There they go. The shaft goes through. Gonna have a an opposing shaft in here. No, it runs a bellows. Oh, look at that. This swings around, pushes down on the bellows. Oh, that's cool. Double bellows. Okay, so that goes up and down. I'm trying to figure out how the uh, how the cams work there. What do they make contact with? It looks like I don't know. This rotates right there. This thing constantly spins. So what is it? Bang, 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 bang? I guess we're not going to see it work until we hire it out. Yeah. We don't have any iron ore anywhere. Okay. Okay, the grass is going to be inside where you won't know it's happening. Okay. Big gabled roof there. A ramp that comes up the other side to load... In? No. What are you dropping to there? Unless you fill the whole thing up and then light the fire. Why else would they have a ramp up there, though? Or the staircase. Hmm. Guess we will see that work when we get the iron mine going. Alright, we're almost there. Got a little bit left. That guy just finished. The smoke went away. Alright, do you take thatch? You do not, so you're shingled. We're almost out of wood, so almost finished. And there it is. Alright, so we're back down. Interesting. Yeah, I'd be curious to see how this works. As this moves, there's this piece of wood sticking out there and one down there. So as they swing around, I'm curious how they interact with that. But that is the smeltery. Nice model. Now it'd be nice if it somehow stopped the uh, the flow of the water here and it just went stagnant, and then a much more of a current flowing through here. And this should actually be spinning continuously whether you're using it or not. But yeah, details. Anyway, are we done? I've got to deal with that. We've got a harvest going on. And we were running at full speed for a while. Oh, so we are harvested here. How do we do here? Most of this, we have that one left. And over here, how do we do? We are done. Okay, so I got to get you incorporated. Figure out what to put into all these fields. And that's right, we were going to do two more fields over here and get rid of this one. Yeah. Um... Let's wait on that for now. I need you guys to eat down these logs so you can start working on other projects. And they're probably going to take over that field and then it'll be even longer before I can do that. So, am I done? I think I am. I can't think of any other... I was going to check these guys. See how we're doing here. So, there's no leather waiting or hides. We do have 50 sheep hides waiting. Combining with... 50 over here to get to 200 so there's the rod on that one there is no rod on this one it just happened so it's just a matter of waiting for two more to get to four and I don't think that's going to be a problem so you are at 30 and sheep I could trigger two more just to make it happen yep could do that you and one more ram there and that should be enough to, to fill this order up and that'll that'll be fine um yeah there's there's none running so we don't need another employee okay so i think i'm going to call this one done here we had a successful episode so let's just assume that uh, the series is up and running again catch you next time thanks bye bye